what is up beautiful people today i have a review on the new tarte ultra creamy shape tape this is in the shade light sand and this is exactly the same shade i got when i purchased the shape tape for the first time I'm going to try to make short, concise reviews now. Um, I want them to be either 10 or 5 minutes long. Let me know what you guys think of this idea. If you guys want to see more reviews and demos, let me know. Because <laughs> I kind of like fell off the bandwagon of doing reviews just because I don't purchase as much as I used to. Anyways, so let's go ahead and talk about the similarities and differences of the sharp shape tape tape shape a shape tape okay so i will be showing a demo here of me actually applying it so you guys can see the difference from one eye to the other i do like getting a shade a few shades lighter than my own just to really brighten up this under eye but once i set with powder and everything you can see that it doesn't look like overly exaggerated of white underneath the area there so i am the same shade on both and i do feel like the shades are the same in both ranges so if you were one shade in the normal shape tape you could actually buy the ultra creamy one with no problem so um, like I said I am in the shade light sand and it does have the same kind of big applicator as the original that a lot of people like I don't really care for it I would have preferred something a little bit smaller <laughs> just because I am nearing 40 and I don't apply that much concealer underneath that eye area and I feel like this one compared to the original is more creamy. It doesn't set down or set as fast as the original one. This one does stay a little bit more creamy longer, but once you set it with powder, it does, you know, it does become matte because it's kind of hard to set your concealer and not have it become matte. But I do like the fact that I could actually move this one around or really um, blend it into the skin more easily than the original one. The original one just like really stuck to the skin and became matte and just like stuck there for a while. So it was harder to blend. You had to be like super, super, super quick to blend it out. And that is something that I really enjoy about this one. That being said, I still feel like it does accentuate a little bit my texture. I feel like after you hit a certain age, you have to really prep the skin and use less concealer. So that way you don't have that much texture and it doesn't age you as much underneath the eyes. And... So that's just, that's just gonna happen with a lot of concealers, especially if it's like a thicker one like this one. So that is just a forewarning, less is more. And I don't know if you guys can see in the demo, I actually apply down here and then work it up. So that way, um, not so much product is underneath where I actually have more texture. So that's just a little, like, a little way of going about it. But yeah, so this is a really nice concealer. If you have less texture and less wrinkles underneath your eyes, you probably will really enjoy this just because it's nice and creamy. And I really like it that it's actually easier to maneuver than the original one. And it's still giving you that coverage. If you do have more texture and fine lines like I do, then definitely less is more if you wanna try this or if not, just skip it altogether <laughs> because, you know, it's just gonna age you. So that's just something that like happens as we get older is that we want that coverage but we don't want it to accentuate our lines. Another trick that I've tried is that you apply your concealer and then um, apply some some setting spray with your finger and then set it with powder just very very lightly and that seems to work as well also I do um, like I said start with my concealer down here and work it work myself like work it up and likewise with my setting powder I do the same thing where I hit the powder first here and then set it like go setting it up towards the top just so that by the time I get up there there's not as much powder to where I have texture so that's just little tidbits here and there that help um, but still I have it here and you can see that it's like creasing I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera but it's actually like creasing there even when I set it with powder it's still something that's going to accentuate your lines and the more you wear it the more time passes the more it's going to creep into those lines and so forth so that's just gonna happen when you have a thicker creamier 
like high coverage formula like the the shape tape is whether it be the original or this one but if i had to choose between one or the other i would definitely go with the creamy one just because of the things that i mentioned previously so let me know what your thoughts are have you tried this what kind of skin type do you have do you have a lot of texture underneath your eyes i'd love to hear from you down below overall i have to say it's it's a nice concealer it's not like my top of the top favorites um it's workable and i think like less is more and i'll probably mix it with um you know something else i'm also like probably going to repurchase my bobby brown um ultra hydrating eye cream and i just feel like that really helps bring so much hydration to my under eyes so yeah those are my thoughts on it i'd love to hear from you down below if you're not subscribed oh, I'd love to have you stick around. I do reviews, unboxings, all kinds of beauty related stuff. So definitely hit that little red button and you can follow me on my social media and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.